I had a thought the other day, and I thought, hmm, where is the world's largest Christmas tree? I thought maybe Dubai, maybe New York. I thought it might have been Rockefeller. <laughs> so I started doing a little Googling. And I said, where is the world's largest Christmas tree? And then I found this website called The One. Basically, you see this giant freaking Christmas tree, and it says that they have put this tree in Enid, Oklahoma, a live 140 foot tall live cut Christmas tree. And I was like, there's no way. That cannot be true. So I Googled Rockefeller Christmas tree. And I found out that it is 69 foot tall. Scott and I have the day off tomorrow. So I thought it might be fun to surprise my husband with a road trip to see the world's tallest Christmas tree and maybe even a few fun Christmas stops along the way. So uh, I'll see you guys in the morning and let's surprise Scott. Scott. Pack your stuff. I have decided to plan us a spontaneous adventure. Where are we going? I have a surprise planned for you. I have clues hidden all along the way. And your first clue is hidden somewhere right now in our house. Great. Okay, so find your first clue. It's somewhere hidden in our house. It's not in there. Don't go in the messy room. Where do you think it could be? It's not in there. He doesn't know. It's in there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you have too much fun then. Yay! I'm taking you on an adventure that'll make you giddy with glee. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> For your next clue, head to the world's tallest indoor Christmas tree. So Where is that? Pull your phone out and Google it. You also might want to keep that stocking. Okay, okay. What came up? Inside the Galleria at Dallas, a Christmas tree stands 95 feet tall. The Galleria. Oh, 18 minutes. He said we're going on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> this is only stop one of many stops, sir. <laughs> okay, we are on the road. Our stuff is packed. Are you packed ready up. for an adventure? I'm ready, I gotta be ready, I guess. We are arriving at Le Galleria. So here's the thing about today. It's Black Friday, the busiest shopping day of the entire year. And we're about to be at one of Texas largest malls. Scott, we found it. 95 foot Christmas tree, like everybody. So are you sniffing out the tree? Do you see it quite yet? Oh yeah, that's definitely the tree. Is that alive? It looks alive. It is, it's a, it's a real Christmas tree. Dang, bro. Oh my God. Whoa. Wow. I think we should go to the bottom floor. How does it get in here? None of these openings are up there. I don't know, I don't know, Lovey. But I do know that you brought us to the right location, which means I just gave you the next clue. I know, I'm still fascinated. <laughs> That's so cool. H, this tree is a sneak peek of our final destination. But we've got a while before we arrive. We head to Bucky. So head to Bucky's Beaver's Castle and pick up Christmas themed snacks for the ride. Heck, yes, we're going to freaking Bucky's. Okay, we have made it to Bucky's, which. That's the beaver. If you've never been to Bucky's, it is a. Um, Texas gas station, but they're like a classic on road trips. Here's what you have to do. You have to get Christmas themed snacks. Let's go! This is the gas station, everybody. I feel like we need some gummy bears for sure. Good, but they're not red and green. We'll eat the red and green ones. Petries. They all got red on them. That's not very Christmassy. Oh, these are Oh, yes, okay. Number, numero uno. Look at this, this is so Christmassy. Okay, we're outside Bucky's. This is our haul, this is what we got. Pretzels, two water, gummy bears, and somewhat a Christmas rings, and uh, oh, what? how'd that get in there? It's the next clue. For our next activity, you'll need a good throw. Head to the Palmas and find some snow. Oklahoma? <laughs> is that what the address says? It says, okay. What does this mean you need a good throw? Oh, because far away. Two hours and 21 minutes. Okay, we'll see you guys what? in like two and a half hours. Okay, um, two and a half hours later, we've made it. I took a big fat nap. I just slumped while Scott drove. Yeah. Isn't that fun of me? But we've made it to Hop Bahama Bucks, man. Um, so We're let's- We're gonna get snowballs. What do you mean? This said something about throwing a ball far. Uh, let's go inside. Let's snowballs. let's go inside and let's see what <laughs> I have planned. Hi. Hi. I had an order for Keely. I called a couple days about go about the snowballs. Okay, you're right. It is snowball. I don't like that you guessed my clue. Sorry. <laughs> Take a look at these. Oh my gosh, they're legit snowballs. This is fun. No throwing in the car. <laughs> okay. What was it called? <laughs> so I made you drive two and a half hours 
to get snowballs. Where's my clue? Which means you get the next stocky clue. So, find a spot to have a good old fashioned snowball fight. You get hit, you lose yourself a life. You must win if you want the next stocking from your wife. But you must be careful, you only have three lives. Beating you in a snowball fight, that's the easiest thing in the world. There's a field literally across the street. No, I want to go to a hidden place. Okay, well, we'll drive around and find us somewhere to have a snowball oh, fight. Wow. We have found a giant parking lot. This is perfect. Got the games. Begun. Okay, okay so, so we gotta come back and reload here. No stockpiling. Only only carry two at a time. If you get hit three times, you're out. Three, two, one. <laughs> no, no, no! One life left each. Let's take a minute and think about this. It's so cold. I'm gonna go one. Okay. This is the snowball time. No! No! Ah! I missed! No, 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 no! No! Oh, you got me! Ah! Bro! That went all on me! You do get a clue! Where's it at? It is in the back seat of your seat. So close the whole time. Have you ever wondered where Santa lives? Yes, I have. Head to North Pole City for the next stop on our trip. Is it North Pole City? Apparently so. Be sure while you're there to buy your wife a gift because Christmas is coming quick. Oh, I need to do Christmas shopping for sure. Okay. North Pole City! Look at that. It says Merry Christmas. Look at the giant nutcrackers in the front. Oh, and there's Santa! Santa! Okay, so Scott, um, clearly you can tell this is not actually the North Pole City. I hope not. Um, wait, this is the. Okay, well, I got back up, I got back up. Beep, boop, boop, boop. The animation while we're figuring this out. Hold on. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. I'm stressed. Hold on, hold on. So sorry, everybody. Oh my god, there's a lot of people watching me. Okay, let's go! Okay, Scott, we're walking in. Do you remember what my clue said, though? It said you have to buy me a gift. That's how you get That's your right. next clue. Like, oh. <gasps> oh my. Okay, so you have to buy me this whole house, actually. This is like when Tours Cafe done right. <laughs> it's good. It's a pretty, I'm obsessed with this place. This is the coolest place ever. What is it Anything you can grab? I don't know. Oh my. Oh, is it mistletoe? Look at the ceiling. This is the coolest place ever. Okay, wait, Scott, did you find me something? I think I did. What'd you get me? Oh, it's got a little on a snowman. Okay, we have left the North Pole and um, we got a lot of Several stuff. Several gifts. Several gifts because I ended up buying a bunch of things for our house. <laughs> Give them a quick haul of what we got for our house. Okay, these are hard to. Oh, well. Oh, I wonder what that is. Okay, well, there's that. <laughs> That's not what it spells. <laughs> okay. I'm sure by now you want to know the final secret place. Go ahead and Google what the stockings spell out to say. Fioni. Fioni. The one. Look up the one in that address and see where it takes us. Lighting stated the world's tallest. What is this? The world's tallest fresh cut Christmas tree. We're going to the world's tallest Christmas tree? Yes, we are! It is in Enid, Oklahoma, and What's it's the one. And that's what it's called. It's called the one. An hour and a half away. Hour and a half to go see the world's tallest fresh cut. I'm invested. Let's go. Woohoo! We are two minutes out. I just saw the tip, the very, very top of what looked like to be a Christmas tree. Imagine we drive all this way and it's like not even that cool. <laughs> oh my God. How is that real? Look at that comparison right now. Christ tree is 140 foot tall, making it the world's tallest fresh cut Christmas tree. There are over two tons of lights and decorations on the tree. So we just ran into a sweet viewer here. This is Lillian. Hi. You watch all of my family, you said? Yeah, oh, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. So we've seen the tree in the daylight and it's pretty legit. 
and then the parade starts here in an hour and then the tree lighting so i'll catch you guys in a few Okay, Scott and I got Brahms hot chocolate and we're about to go watch the ceremony for the tree lighting. Look at this. Look how many people there are. As a symbol, just as this tree oh. was transformed, our lives can be restored and no one up to a personal here. relationship no with Jesus Christ. Santa was be here the world's we closest machine, you don't think Santa put it up there. Lights up the plane spectacular. Tonight's fireworks performance is brought to you by Main Street Union and Park Avenue Foot. Now let the holidays begin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Bye, Merry Christmas!